Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and today we're talking X-Men, the animated series, and its iconic theme song. Honestly, probably one of the best theme songs there are. Uh, we can all hum along. You know how it goes. Uh, but today's report comes from TMZ that they might have stolen it from a Hungarian cop show. Say it ain't so! I don't want this song to go in legal limbo where we might not get it again when it comes down to Disney+. Plus. What is this? What could this mean for future reruns? Uh, we got to find this out. So let's, let's play both themes. Let's hear the whole story out uh marvel sued you clawed away x-men theme song from hungry cop show uh, a guy named zoltan crisco has come forward and he's suing marvel disney fox apple amazon and more uh, and claims that the tv execs behind the animated series uh jacked his intro music from an older show called linda uh apparently this show aired in hungary from 1984 to 1991 uh, and according to the lawsuit filed by crisco it was a hit cop uh, comedy thriller uh, he manages the estate of the composer, uh, Jagorgi Vokin, uh, who created and copyrighted the Linda theme song in 1983. Uh, Crisco says it sounds exactly like the tune of the X-Men cartoon used years later. Uh, how the composer would have to be exposed to Linda. That's how this works in lawsuits. You have to sort of prove that you would have heard this song. So you, it proves you actually ripped it off and it's not by accident. Uh, in the suit, Crisco claims that the X-Men maestro and TV execs rubbed elbows with Hungarian film professionals in the 80s. You know how that happened back in the 80s when all those Hollywood execs were going off to rub elbows with Hungarian film professionals. Anyway, he suggests they definitely would have known about Linda because it was such a massive hit at the time uh, because, you know, everyone's watching hot hip cop dramas from Hungary. Uh, he says that uh, he didn't learn of the series or its theme until 2017. Woo. He, uh, wow, good for him. Uh, he's stayed out of the, the media spotlight there. Uh, but he alleged, just like, you know, you didn't hear about the X-Men theme song. Maybe they didn't hear about yours. It took you a long time. Uh, and the X-Men series has been around for a while. Pretty iconic, I would argue, too. Anyway, he alleges in the docs that uh, the success uh, the franchise achieved for Marvel and many other companies is a result of that iconic and uh, stolen theme song. So now he wants them to pay up in a major way. He wants Vulcan's estate to get a big chunk of the profits that it's made since the 90s. Uh, it could be a lot of money. It's sort of hard to dictate, well, how much money is that? Now, granted, I don't think they ever like put the song on CD or on the radio, so there's not like residuals in that regard, but every episode has that theme song. And it is, I'd argue, a very iconic memory, you know, memory of the show. It's a, it's a big part of it. Uh, so, look, I might get dinged for playing these songs, but who cares? I'll have fun with you guys today. Let's watch, hear the original, just to refresh our memories, because also we love it. And here it goes. Oh man, I love it. It's gonna be on Disney Plus, guys. I hope with the theme song. Oh, man, I love it. I can just do it all day. I just do it every Aaron Simon I could do that one because I love it. It's just, come on. That's really one of the best. It just, everything just stands up. You're like, Mew. yeah, you just feel that high energy. So anyway, that's the song. We all know and love it. Now, now, without further ado, let's hear the theme song from Linda, the policewoman. I mean, it's hard to not hear that. There's definitely the but a ding ding ding. That part. None of this though is the same. And even the the show though looks sick. What is this animated comedy action? Oh, you guys know? You remember Linda, right? That popular show from Hungary. Oh, 
there you go. All right, there's the theme song. Uh, ooh, now look, there's definitely something there. There's definitely something with the... That's all it does. It's like it does. It's, it doesn't even fully do it, but it's that's the part we're in question. But even uh, the X Men theme takes it up a notch. They change chords and they go a little higher. There's a whole melody to it. They extend that melody. That makes it, let's be honest, a lot better. The Linda one sounds a little bit more like a spy th- song, like. It's like it's not the exact amount of notes. It's sort of the same melody for part of it. It's like half of the melody of that the iconic, you know, we know. Uh, but man, it's close. It's close, but not fully there. Uh, and, but more importantly to me, I, just, I don't believe they ripped it off. Uh, that seems odd that someone would be like, you know what? Well, I'm going to blame. I'm going to make this X Men theme just like that. That weird Hungarian cop drama I watched. Uh, yeah, we'll just steal that. We'll just rip that little pit and make it better. I don't know. That just feels really crazy. Why not just? Sometimes when you're playing the piano, you're like, and then that, you know, as you then compose it, that's a different melody. And then suddenly you change it as you're doing all your instruments. You got the orchestra there. So uh, this could just be a complete accident. That's what I'm thinking. There's, well, there's the similarity. I understand it. The fact that it took him so long from 1980s to now 2017 to discover the X-Men animated series and for him to say, well, they should have known about the Hungarian Linda show. I mean, that's that to me is a stretch. You need to have me I need more evidence than, you know, all those Hollywood execs were rubbing elbows with the Hungarian film professionals. That's a little bit of a stretch. But to be fair, I do hear some similarities. So that'll be interesting to see how the court proceeds that. Sometimes the composers win, sometimes they really lose and they have to give out a lot. That bittersweet symphony song uh, that um, by the Verve, Oh man, that was depressing. That that hook is all they took from uh, from a Rolling Stones song, uh, which I forget what it's called. The one they ripped it off from. Anyway, they stole it. just that that part is the only thing they took, and they just looped it. And because of that. If you listen to the Rolling Stones song, it doesn't sound anything like Bittersweet Symphony. The words are all different. It's just a loop. There's new orchestration all around it. It changes. But because of that, the Rolling Stones get all the residuals to that song, and the verve gets nothing. Uh, It's crazy. Uh, Now, they did a version, I think, without the sample, where he does it all instruments, and then he owns that version. But, ugh, that sucks. And that's where I think it goes wrong, because... It's even like here. Sometimes a YouTuber gets copyright striked uh, for having a little part of of a video. And that's not fair for the studio to take the whole revenue from the movie because there might be other video clips or another song. There's only a percentage of the project is what's being used, and it's not being uh, sold on the context of that project. So sometimes those uh, residual monetization rights on YouTube or elsewhere, it's completely unjust. you got to figure out and actually do the formula of how much X-Men series is in that song, really. Uh, I would argue not. it's not the whole song. There's a part that maybe is questionable. If they can figure out that it was done with the intent to steal it, then it's a different story. But without that intent, it's an accident. Uh, what do you guys think? Chime down in the comments below. Did you hear the similarity? Did you not hear it? Do you think that's crazy? Do you think uh, they got an argument here in this lawsuit? I want to hear your thoughts. As always, hit me up on social media as well. And be sure to subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Uh, you can see it there on this screen. If you look, there it is. See the little red button down below? Find that on yours. Hit the little notification bell as well. Uh, please subscribe so that way you can be alerted when new videos come to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more videos soon. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm out.